Imagination Station. Jeff Stevenson joins me. Jeff, what are we talking about this morning? We are doing rockets this morning, and that's why we're outside on this beautiful day. It is absolutely gorgeous out here, and so I thought we'd do a nice outdoor experiment where we are launching rockets. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give this to you. Okay. All right, and what we're gonna do is we just need to kind of move this liquid around to coat the entire inside of our bottle. What alcohol. I'm guessing it wasn't water. Yeah, so. it's not, not water, but we just want to make sure that we're igniting all the vapors inside of our container. Now, here. it was just so a couple can, weeks ago you guys did an experiment on, on vape. It's not the liquid that's essentially flammable, it's the vapors. Yes, I mean, the liquid is flammable, flammable as, well, as well. But the vapors are uh, the part that people do not think about, but are can be just as dangerous, yep. all right? So you've got that one coated pretty okay. well, all right? And uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give you the one I've drained out because I've, I've kind of drained all the liquid off here, as you okay. can see. So you know that we're just igniting some vapors. All right, and you have your goggles on. Yep. Perfect. I'm going to set it down right here. And what I want you to do is I want you to bring your torch. Oh! Okay, so we got a little bit of a flame. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a flame. It's okay. It's okay. No, I, I, I would I would back away just for one second. I know science. Yeah, we, because if it's you notice, there's actually there's yep. actually a flame going on. I do on right see here. it over there. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put that out real quick. So the issue there, Jeff, is, did I do something wrong? No, 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 no. Okay. The, the issue is that that nozzle is incredibly large, right? Okay. And all the fumes are coming out, so you just get a little foom. Yeah. You, you get kind of a pitiful one. So what I did with this one is I'm gonna go ahead. Almost the exact same thing. We're gonna drain the liquid. Okay. Tiny. If you wanna get, I have just oh. a tiny hole drilled inside of this one, right? And this is what real Did like, you do rocket this? scientists... So this is by design? This is 100% by design, Chris. Oh, but don't worry, I, I'm going to give you the moment... I thought to, I goofed it. To, ...to light the good one, too. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. This is... A, everything Everything here is by design, All right. Chris. Don't worry. All right. Are you ready? All yeah. right. Come in from the top and bring it in like that. Okay. Right up next to it. Hopefully that wh uh, whoever's car that is, that's just, all right. Just got the boss's car. <laughs> yeah, no worries, no worries. Oops. So that is um, one thing where all those vapors can uh, heat up, expand, uh -huh. shoot out that tiny small area. But I figured if we step over here, we've cut all, all right. All right. So what we're going to do here is I've got an entire Culligan container. OK. And what, do you see that? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to put on a little bit more safety right. equipment here. We'll put a little bit more safety equipment. So what I need you to do is, can you get that container that's underneath of that one? Most that's certainly. Some more ethyl alcohol, and I need you to pour it inside of my Culligan container as a, as a little fuel source. You pour the whole thing in there. Perfect, perfect. And that awkward thing that we need to do, we need, we need, to, we need, to, we need to spin it like we did the two liter. So if you take that okay. and I take this end, we're just gonna kinda coat the entire inside of our Culligan container in a liquid. So we're getting all kinds of vapors that are spreading and we're spreading out the surface area of this liquid as much as possible. And we're going to try to not pour any ethyl alcohol on me while we're doing this. That's okay, going to be sorry, very I'm a crucial. High. All right, are we, I think that's probably good. There right, we go. Slosh it around, okay. shake it. Okay, so then the next thing I need your help with is can you hold this container? Just kind of hold that one for me and I'm going to pour off all our excess liquid. So here we go. So we're going to be igniting just the vapors. Perfect, perfect. Okay, you can you can set that down on the table now. And now we're gonna go in front, putting a nozzle on it, right? Just like that, just like that. We're gonna go ahead and put a nozzle on it. All right, Chris. Here, I'm gonna take this from you. I'm gonna take this from you. Okay. I, I know I know you wanna do it, but this <laughs> one might be a little bit larger than what you're prepared for. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, ignite. So we were actually able to ignite the fumes inside of that Culligan container, and it got a little bit of motion there, right? And as you can bit. see, our nozzle is gone. It was completely blown off, which is a good thing. That means there was no excess <laughs> pressure that built up or anything like that. But that's how you can kind of do a little ethyl rocket experiment. And yeah, so that's, that's what we're doing today. And we have our homeschool workshops okay. happening that are coming up. And we actually are having necessarily these experiments at our homeschool workshops. We leave them to the experts, of exactly. course. And that's why we got you just down the street here, downtown Toledo Imagination Station. Cool for those. Do we need to sign up for the workshops? Uh, you can sign up online and okay. there's still plenty of time. So All right. Definitely check it out. Jeff, sounds good. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Stay with us. More WTO 11 Your Day coming up after this.